the reality is, is that security is an insurance policy. It, it's not going to lower the cost of government on an ongoing basis. But what it does lower is the cost once there's a breach or once there's an incident. Uh, the goal really of security is to minimize the damage that's done, the time it takes to recover, the assets that are lost. And without a good solid security policy in place, without preventative measures being in place, you're going to spend a lot of time when a breach happens. And uh, the reality is the breaches are going to happen. Uh, the things in today's world that are going on are a lot more complicated, a lot more ongoing. There's no more kind of fly-by-night hackers and what's happening now is there's just a concerted effort. So you have to plan for the breach, you're buying that insurance policy, you know that you're going to cash in at some point and the goal is to minimize the damage and the, the cost when that, when that does happen. One of the things that we've seen um, arise in is in consolidation. Obviously everyone's talking about data center consolidation, but with that comes a lot of other consolidation efforts. And that actually helps from a security posture because government is now starting to realize that by taking all of the different systems, different users, different accounts, all the different things that they have out there and slimming down the numbers that they have, they can actually manage and monitor those uh, objects and those things a lot easier. Uh, so that consolidation effort lets them get a better handle on what's going on without having to track as many different things. As I mentioned before, it's this uh, notion of the advanced persistent threat. That's the first thing that uh, has definitely come up on the rise over the last year or so where there's been this ongoing persistent effort by hackers that it's now organized, it's deliberate, it's coming from many different vectors and uh, that's been a huge, huge uh, trend where people are not publicly talking about it. The other trend is now being able to, uh, or having a closer look at privileged account management. Those system accounts that everyone just assumed were there and everyone can use them are now starting to get tightened down and locked down a lot more. People are paying more attention to them, partially as a result of advanced persistent threat, partially as just some of the things that are happening that you hear about every day where employees have too much access, former employees have too much access, and uh, a lot of damage is being done that way. So there is more of a lockdown on those privileged accounts that are often shared by many groups of people. I mentioned that we are seeing a trend in consolidation. The consolidation trend uh, definitely helps security, the privileged account uh, management, be getting a better handle on that. And then a lot of it is now also through training. I think uh, there's been a much bigger effort by the government and by the IT shops to actually train their employees and make them more aware of all the threats that are out there. That people aren't just given systems anymore and told just go ahead and use email and Word and all the, the other apps uh, willy-nilly. Now what's happening is, is that those uh, employees are getting proper training on what not to do, not to pick up USB sticks at a Starbucks, not to go out and put their passwords under a, a keyboard. And that training is uh, probably one of the biggest things they can do to tighten down the whole environment. The biggest challenge is always the data that they have. Um, Frankly, the government has a lot of interesting data. They're always going to be an interesting target because there's just so many things there that are ripe for the taking. They do so much work across the world in so many different areas, whether it's financial data, technical data, health and sciences, there's just a lot out there to be had. So the biggest challenge is getting a handle on everything that's out there, making sure that you properly manage it all, and making sure that everyone that has access to it is allowed to have access to it and no more that they don't overextend who can touch which data is out there. So classifying, compartmentalizing, and then controlling access to all the data is probably the biggest challenge that they're going to continue to have. So Quest's goal is to make sure that 
government is able to perform all of their IT functions in a more efficient, more automated fashion. We're really a systems management company that focuses on getting efficiencies on automations into the IT workplace. And to that end, we're helping with the consolidation. We have a lot of solutions to help get users and get systems into a better, more secure posture. We have auditing and reporting around that posture as well. And then being able to control access, whether it's privileged account access, group management, other sorts of access controls, uh, we're heavily invested in that area as well and going further and further every day in research and development.